It is so lovely for him to be here. But for me, it's just not romantic anymore. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh nice my god. Alex. Oh, hi, Alex. <laughs> my ex of three years just rocks up on the beach. My God, I did not see that come in. So I arrived on the beach, quite a crazy experience. The tablet of terror went off, and Alicia had to choose between sending home me or Jack. And I was quite happy to know that straight away she said, sorry, Jack, like, you've got to go. It was a horrible decision, but I think most people knew what I was going to do. I would never send someone who I've known for four years over someone I've known for two minutes. I had to send Jack home. So it's Alex. Oh, no, it's not. It's Alex. Yeah, Tablet of Terror goes off. Choose between Jack and Alex. Jack's gone home. Jack's gone. I cannot believe Are you it. You're joking. You're having me on. As soon as I walked through the door, I was getting really nervous by this stage because there was a lot of people in there, probably a lot of loud personalities. And all the blokes were dressed as the girls, and all the girls were dressed as the blokes. So that took the edge off immediately. Mate, you seem like a proper genuine fella. Yeah, like, you seem like a proper fella, and I can just tell it straight yeah. away. Me and Elise had a good chat at the table in front of everybody, sort of cleared the air, because it had been a while since I've seen her. So what's your intentions coming in with Alicia? Oh. I have no idea what it's going to be, but... Yeah, but... Because it ended so quickly, no, I have no I idea how she feels. Do you like her? Of course I do, I love her. Do you... Oh! So at the end of the night, me and Alicia shared a bed, and we had a little kiss in the bathroom as well. But then when we was in bed, she did say to me, oh, you do know this won't work, but... I can tell she's still got feelings, so who knows? It is so lovely for him to be here. I feel like he reminds me of home. He's still so close to my family. But for me, it's just not romantic anymore. Seeing Alex was such a shock for me. I didn't expect him to be in this villa, and I kissed him. But it was a mistake. I shouldn't have done it. I'm going to draw a line under things today. It was just such a... It was, I was just caught up in the moment. Last night, I had my chat with Alex to give him closure and to explain that I don't think anything will ever happen with us in a romantic way. He took it so well, bless him, like I knew he would, but it was still the hardest chat that I've actually probably put off for a long time. For me, and I think you know this... Yeah, I think I I do. love you. I'm just not in love with you. During my chat with Alex, I said to him, he's free to crack on with anyone he wants to. The kid deserves to be happy. I love him. I'm just not in love with him. And do you know what? I know I'm a nutter, but if I see him cracking on with someone else, I don't actually think I'll kick off. I wouldn't feel jealous if I saw Alex cracking on with someone else. I want him to be happy. It's probably not going to be nice. I've told him to crack on. I can't go back on my word now. 